Stage eight of the Volta Espana it was the longest stage in the race to Albacete at 207 kilometres. On the race profile, it looked as if it should have been just a routine day for the sprinters, but anything could have been further from the truth. Two-man breakaway early on as Antonio Piedra crashed at the back end of the main peloton. In the breakaway from Lampre, it was Alia Favelli, and from Cajarral, it was Javier Aramendia in the break once again. At one point, they got out to a lead of seven minutes, but as the peloton was approaching a wide open section with plenty of cross winter confronts, they were jostling for position at the head of affairs and the breakaway was soon brought back into the fray. As they were going through the second of the intermediate sprints, it was the Sky Squad and the Tinkoff Saxo team just marking at the front to see whether Froome or Contador would challenge for the bonus seconds. They didn't eventuate. At the front, Favilli and Aramendia were still holding on and just hoping. But a day after the breakaway succeeded, it was not going to turn out two days running. The crosswinds arrived, and it was Tinkoff Saxo, along with BMC Racing, who went to the front, and they caused all sorts of problems. One of the riders that was caught out momentarily was Nadal Quintana. Fortunately for the Colombian, he was in the second group on the road, and so too was John Degenkolb. As Degenkolb was there, one of the favourites for the stage, a few of his teammates went back to collect him, and Natal Quintana quickly returned to the front end of the race. All the riders who started the stage inside the top ten managed to make the split, but it was a dramatic day, and it caused a few nervous moments. And for Orica Green Edge, they were protecting another one of the Colombians, Esteban Chavez, who managed to stay at the front, as they also had Michael Matthews in contention for the stage. At six kilometres to go, Nadal Quintana returned, and he made contact with his teammate Valverde, Contador and Froome, they were always at the front. And in fact, they initiated much of the damage. So too did Cadell Evans from BMC Racing, riding in support of Samuel Sanchez. A group of 30 or so came down to the finish line in Albacete. And it was Tom Bonin who was getting in the mix. And so too was Peter Sagan. But as the sprints started to heat up, it was Nasser Buhani who was fighting for yet another win, along with Michael Matthews and John Degen Cole. With 300 metres to go, Buhani from a long way back made his bid for victory as Nicholas Mays was leading out Tom Bonham. Degan Colvin Green was moving forward and Buhani caught a ride. And then he stepped out into the wind as Michael Matthews tried to catch flight as long with the Frenchman, but the Frenchman was just too good. As Buhani approached the final 50 metres, the legs were tightening up, a little bit of a flick off to his left to impede Matthews, but not enough to be disqualified. It was Buhani who won, Matthews in second, Peter Sagan was third. After what was a dramatic day of racing, there was no change in the general classification, but there so easily could have been. It was Valverde who held on to red 15 seconds clear of Natal Quintana as another day in the mountains awaits.